Hi, teammates. When I was in about the fourth or fifth grade, I remember calling my Uncle Don, who represents the Word of God, and asking him on the phone who had died with him whenever he was stationed for the Korean War um, during his time in the Army. And I remember him specifically telling me that someone had died while putting a gun under their pillow and it accidentally shot them. And then someone had died uh, by a collision between two tanks and the guy was caught in the middle. So, and then he, I believe he told me two more, but I can't remember what they were. And um, so if you look at this symbolism here, we'll go kind of fast today. Um, but if you look at the 1956 Summer Olympics, you'll see that symbolism there with Gary Arthur Chapman standing out as the outlier there. And I broke down the word owl and got um, Estrigiformis. And from that, I got the Miranda, which is the Uranus moon, as the S, and the Iapetus as the um, G there, and Uranus itself as the STRI, and for mess as Gary Arthur Chapman, which is form as. So very interesting. I definitely wanted to go over this because it deals with my uncle Don and this was, you know, before he died and before Mitch died and, uh, Dee Dee had died in 2000, 2001 around, well, 2000. So, um, and then there's the differentiation between the owl, snake, bat, and cat. I believe the cat represents more like um, the actual John the Baptist figure, who is a Dan figure in our time, and as Okin and Unchi. And the bat, we know, has symbolism of being connected to the genie and all that with um, Patrick from Rapture Signs and Epiphanies. And then the snake, I believe, deals with um, the Ten Sins, okay, like the, the reverse of the Ten Commandments. And the owl, I believe, is whoever this figure is that we're going over today. Um, so, and I liked a video dealing with the owl, and it basically means the reverse of the 72, which is Solomon. And it goes back to maybe the replacement it figure has, in a sense, saved the animals. And maybe the Ben figure has saved the humans that are like Freemason types. And then the Solomon figure has replaced like, or has saved the, like the, the sellouts, basically the Mark of the Beast people that are Christian or whatnot, but <laughs> that's all up to debate. And that's leaving a lot to, you know, a gray area of, do you believe that all these people have mercy? So, you know, it's crazy, but, um, you know, do I believe Jonathan Clegg has, is going to receive mercy? Yes. You know, why would God let Jacob go, you know, be damned? It doesn't make sense to me. So, um, just keep faith. We'll make, we'll keep it short and, uh, have a good night.